I've lost another three pounds. Still not sure whether to be happy or concerned. Yeah, I know. Since last week. I mean, like, you generally lose a lot of water weight very quickly, but Everybody yeah. says that. Like, if it's it gonna, keeps up, that is... Going to be here like issue. Christmas. I'm going to be like, you know, like a, like, a, like a little stick figure with a big old head just trying to keep my neck. Did uh, you have, perhaps piss off an elderly that's magic right. woman? You know, it's like, it's like uh, thinner and... Tootsie Fruitsie. That's what I was saying at the start of the show. Nine. Yeah. Have, have you upset an older woman who seemed like she might know some spells? I don't know. It doesn't even have to be an older woman, I suppose. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's, uh, God, it's almost Halloween. So I should mention this for everybody. Um, something we do here for the Hot of Beans is, um, we do the Hollow Worst. We look at the, the worst in, uh, sexy costumes. That can be purchased from various outlets online. The air quotes on sexy are very important. Very, very, very important. Um, you could, uh, if you have interesting ones you want to share with us, you are welcome to share those. Now, keep in mind, we, we, we're generally, we, again, I like to, to point this out. We don't mock the concept of being sexy on Halloween. It's the choice of the sexy targets. Yes. That. Might need to. If you want to be a sexy rethink. nurse, live your best life. I hope you live in a warm climate, but live your best life. If you want to be a sexy Teletubby, yeah, we have concerns. We have concerns. So you can send I'm a those worried about you. <laughs> you can send those to us at requests at radiodeadair.com. We will compile those and we'll have those. You, you um, don't have oh, this yeah. problem. I have a Here's cat hair right stuck there. to my lip gloss. No, I do not because I don't wear lip gloss. Yeah. You can find requests at radiodeadair.com. Please send those in. Should be entertaining. I'll put the link in the uh, description as well if you're interested. Uh, let's see. So with that out of the way, um, it's time to move on. To, uh, we kind of got an early Halloween costume here this week. Uh-oh. All right. Let's get going. Is it Each week. Is it right? Is it a cat? What's wrong with you? And this one starts from Philadelphia. You know, sometimes I have to really work to come up with good titles each week when I put this up on YouTube. Sometimes it's it's more difficult than others. Um, this week, it's going to be fucking easy as shit. I already know what the title is. Do you want to know what it is, Sarah? Yes. I am a banana. <laughs> Are you a sexy banana? No, I'm a very I'm a banana in jail, actually. Um... Man who was wearing banana costume. Did, did, it, did it send through? It didn't send. There it is. There you go. Uh, man who was wearing banana costume during illegal Philadelphia car meetups arrested. There he is. There's, there he is. There's the guy. A man who was wearing a banana costume during the illegal car meetup in Philadelphia last month was arrested in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. Uh, police uh, arrested 18-year-old Shane Thomas on Wednesday after officers filtered into a Plymouth Township neighborhood. The officers were heavily armed and had search and arrest warrants with them. They left the house with Cody with Thomas in custody. Once officers took Thomas out of the home in handcuffs, the 18-year-old unleashed a tirade of expletives and other graphic language. Uh, it's a I mean, banana. he's from Philly, so. Yeah. Um... Police came, claimed Thomas was part of an illegal car meetup in September. Um, it was one of 11 incidents late that Saturday night. Thomas is accused of jumping on police vehicles while wearing a banana costume. It's also not claimed, even, I wouldn't call it a banana costume so much as like a banana sweater vest. No, it's the full thing. It's the, it's the whole thing. It goes all the way down. I, it looked on the video to me like it only went down to like his waist. No, no, no. Scroll, scroll down further. You'll see it. Um, 
Investigators oh, also claim okay. Thomas tossed a large traffic cone through the window of a police vehicle, as well as lobbed a, quote, explosive device at the tire of another police vehicle. Says September 21st, the uh, Philadelphia Police Department has said it will hold those participating in the car meetups responsible. Detectives have scrolled through hundreds of videos posted to social media. Investigators say despite Thomas's effort to delete his social media, a friend tagged him in a high school graduation photo using his Instagram account. Police say they were able to backtrack and positively identify him as the man in the banana suit. Police also recovered a yellow banana suit from the Thomas home. There it is. That's sad. That's not mine. I'm just holding it for a friend. <laughs> Son, what are you doing? What in the world are you doing with your life? <laughs> like you're now the second worst banana man. Mm. The kids don't know about banana man. Yeah, that that terrible fucking show that they put on with Danger Mouse. Danger Mouse was cool. Danger Mouse was the best. And every now and then you were supposed to get two 15 minute episodes of Danger Mouse. And every now and then you'd only get one episode of Danger Mouse. And the other half of the half hour would be Banana Man, which is a and stupid the, British cartoon yeah. about a kid who got superpowers when he ate bananas. And it sucked. And you yeah. are now the second worst because nothing's going to be worse than that. You're now the second worst Banana Man. Like, Batman has got some stupid-ass supervillains. He's got, like, Kite Man and Calendar Man and the Condiment King, which is a real fucking Batman villain. What does what does he do, the Condiment King? Does he, he spray shoots, people with mustard? Yeah, mustard and ketchup. And, he sprays condiments. Like, literally? Literally. And that's worth Batman's time? Apparently. But now, you, you were, like, with those second-rate those, those D-list Batman supervillains. <laughs> like, that that's what the, what the vibes I'm getting off this. Like, if we were doing a gritty Batman reboot and they had to have some of the stupid villains on, this would be one of them. Right? Like, the, I could see this as like, like a... Like, I could see this as like really a cameo see, in Penguin or something. Do you really want to see, like, Robert Pattinson in... <laughs> full body armor beating the shit out of this kid that doesn't seem fair i mean give me a minute me like we've lost batman has completely lost the camp factor so now it's just hot actor of the year in full body armor beating the shit out of people i mean i don't know that that, would, that this would do much yeah Danger Mouse is also British, yes. But he didn't suck. No, Danger Mouse was awesome. Yeah. <sighs> okay. They say Next. this is actually a tick villain. This, the, the banana is a tick villain? Probably. It might be. I, I, well, no, so not long. like literally, but that like if it was anybody. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, the banana. That, 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 then they'd have to take him seriously and shit. Uh, to, do you remember that old song? My wife left town with a banana. My baby slipping away. I, I. No. You don't know that song? No. I'm going to have to try and look I, it up, see if it's on YouTube. Anyway, moving next to Cobb County, Georgia for this one. And we have had quite a few instances of people losing their shit at the fast food places because they got their order wrong. This is a first because this time it's the fucking police losing their shit at a fast food place because they got their order wrong. A Cobb County Sheriff called deputies for help after Burger King got his order wrong. Body camera video showed sheriff's deputies helping the Cobb County Sheriff with a faulty fast food order. Uh, started grabbing the attention of voters on Friday. Uh, new Channel 2 Action News obtained three body camera videos from the Cobb County Sheriff's Office. 
Uh, each one shows a deputy responding to the Burger King on Veterans Memorial Highway. In the video, the deputies approach the Cobb County Sheriff Craig Owens Sr. Uh, he tells one of them, hey, do me a favor. I need to get, all I need is the owner name who ever owns this damn facility or the manager. I wanted her, passenger, a Whopper, no mayo, cut in half, right? Deputies listen as he says, I don't need no damn money back no more. I just need to find out who owns this place so I can do an official complaint. They do not ask why the sheriff was unable to get the information himself. As they approached the restaurant doors, the employees had locked themselves inside. Now you have to stop and consider here. What the fuck has this guy done prior to them showing up that they felt the need to lock themselves inside from the county sheriff? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like if like a whole mess of cops start showing up and you didn't call them. Might one be a little concerned. One deputy tells the assistant manager, nobody's in trouble. We just want to get some names. He goes on to say there isn't even going to be a report with him written. There's a guy out there. He's just going to file a complaint for his food. Yet yeah, without na na naming it, it's the sheriff. Um, the, the, these are hourly employees. They were so concerned. They locked the door over our elected official. Yes. Body cam video deputy tells the sheriff the employees are in fear because angry customers have escalated to stalking at this point. The sheriff laughs and says, quote, you didn't tell him who I was, did you? No, I just told him it was the guy out in the truck. The de deputy responded. Owens is up for re-election this year. Um, so so uh, uh, it was definitely him stalking them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was just. Yeah. Dude, what the how? It's just like. If, if if a regular civilian and we've had this before, if a regular civilian calls the cops because their orders wrong, the cops are going to be like, no. Go fuck yourself. But unfortunately, but you, this is their boss. And let's just for, for a moment, imagine we live in a world where the cops are actually out there performing useful functions every day. Imagine you're out there performing your useful functions every day, but your boss is trying to take you away from, I don't know, solving murders or something to over to the Burger King. This is intimidate was in cut in half. With just mayo. Who the fuck? All right. Off, let's start off with how. Also, that's a, yeah, yeah. That's a terrible order. Who the fuck? Yeah. I, I can see ordering. Oh, wait, no oh, mayo. A Whopper with no mayo. No mayo. Oh, no mayo. Okay. okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's, that's, right. that's not so bad. I was about that's to get not... real heated. Yeah. Whopper, no mayo, cut in half. Cut in half, though. That's That's the other one that's like. Maybe they were going to split it. Whoever was in the car with him, it seems like he had someone in the car with him, which also I don't think they're yeah. technically allowed to do. Like, I got I got a ride in the front seat of a cop car one time. Yeah. And she was like, I'm not supposed to do this. But. Like, I mean, th just the, I have thought about potentially running for something over the years, just been like idle thoughts. The idea that you win office, you are given, you were invested with authority, you are supposed to look out for the well-being of the people who decided to give you a chance to represent them, and you're calling your deputies to thug a fucking Burger King. And yeah, like you were saying, like imagine you're hiding in your closet because someone's breaking into your home, you're on the line with 911. When are, the, when are they gonna get here? When are they gonna get here? Well, you see, the sheriff's whopper wasn't cut in half. So you're just going to have to die. That probably didn't happen. Probably. But, yeah. like, it could. It's going to move on to... Uh, also, just uh, ask your damn self. Why are, you, why are you having your fucking minions do that? He wants to roll up hard with his boys, I guess. I don't know. All right. So, next up... We often say that if you were a corporation, you should have in your employ a 14-year-old child. Doesn't matter gender, ethnicity, none of that matters. Just, just a 14-year-old like, child. I feel like you want a boy. 
for Not men boy. Efficacy. Yeah. And what you do is every time you're about to do any kind of advertising, anything you do, you run it past the 14-year-old first. And if the 14-year-old starts laughing their ass off, you don't do it. Well, uh, Bath and Body Works did not do that. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Ku Klux Candle. No. Yes. <laughs> Bath and See, Body Works. I was Works. already mad at them because they discontinued my favorite candle. Bath and Body Works apologizes for candle that looks like KKK meeting. Snowed in. Yeah, they call that snowed in. That's uh, Ku Klux Klan members light torches. Now some say Bath and Body Works provided them candles to light too. Someone's having fun with Eric Berger. He's having fun. Retail chain recently released a candle labeled snowed in. That critics argue resembled the hoods and robes worn by the white supremacist group. After an outcry in social media, the company explained that the designers did not intend to mimic the KKK outfit and removed the item from its website and retail stores. But like, now, but like, how did to, you not see it? Right, you got to be like somebody at the store. Oh shit, too big. Go away. Too big. Go, go, go. How did nobody see it? Like. You had to think somebody would be like, um, Dave, yeah, don't you think that looks a little bit like a clan hood? What? No. Are we going to make the wicks shaped like what? little crosses? What? No. What? Like, what sort like, of- Because the second the picture came up, I saw it. Yeah, I said everybody saw it. Everybody fucking saw it. So I promise you, somebody at the company saw it. What happened here? I can only think that someone very far up the line, this was their pet project. And yeah. nobody dared. Nobody dared tell them. Because that happens all the time. You don't want to piss off the boss. So you're you're just going to go around and be like, oh, yeah, it's a great idea. It looks beautiful. Like, I get what the, I kind of get what they thought they were doing. It's supposed to be those it's little snowflakes. It's supposed to be one of those little paper snowflakes. Yeah. yeah, but all you had to do was literally any other pattern. Yeah. Like, you almost have to try. You <laughs> have to try not to do. With the little eyeballs. Like you have to try. I've done. I've made a million little paper snowflakes, and I've never had one come out that never, specifically. The only way you could do that is if you got a hole punch. Because if you're cutting it, you cut in a perfect circle. That doesn't right. happen. Like you cut triangles. There's like, what little happy fun land with the with the woodland critters do you live in? Where this image didn't make you think, oh no, what have I done? And it's a product designed to be set yeah. on fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> I no, here's here's what does it smell like? Is the question. I, yeah, I was actually trying to see that. It doesn't really say. It doesn't say. So. That's going to be a mystery. Then, it's like, going to haunt us. I don't know if you guys know, Bath and Body Works candles are fucking legit, dude. They are. And they discontinued my favorite scent. And I'm so mad at them because I used to stock up on those motherfuckers when they had a sale. So it probably smells great. <laughs> and not like and not like sweaty redneck ass crack. So that makes you feel doubly you guilty. Expect. That makes you feel doubly guilty. Some people probably already bought this damn thing. and It's like a collector's yeah. item now. Hey, you want the Ku Klux Klan candle? Put that shit on eBay for like a grand or some shit. Uh, no, we have the, and then okay, report this, whoever buys it immediately. All right. Th this next one. It's horrible. It's absolutely like the most unsettling, creepy, horrible shit that could happen in your house. 
right? This is like shit you see in like those, like the net or all those, those hyper techno, oh no, the technology is going to get you kind of movies. However, just picturing this in my mind, I laughed when I first read this five minutes nonstop. I could not stop. I'm not even exaggerating. I was dying in my I'm doing it again. <laughs> this is wonderful. It's horrible. It's horrible, but it's so good. <laughs> Why is this so fucking funny? It's it's terrifying and hilarious. Oh, it's terrarious. Um Hackers take control of robot vacuums in multiple cities. Yell racial slurs. <laughs> See, this is why I don't have smart <laughs> shit. Robot vacuums in multiple cities were hacked in the space of a few days. With the attack, you're physically controlling them and yelling obscenities through their own points. <laughs> Just sorry. Wasn't this a movie with Emilio Estevez? <laughs> what was it called? <laughs> World the Machines? Uh, Not Terminator. Over, yeah, Maximum Overdrive. This is the stupid version. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't fucking... say I don't have smart shit. I, I have smart litter boxes. So oh, I literally have smart shit boxes. But the, the fucking ATM calling the guy an asshole. <laughs> That's what this is. I'm sorry. I'm laughing so hard. I'm crying. I love this. I just, I'm just picturing this in my mind. You're sitting down. You got your, you got the, the Netflix on. You're watching a show. And then all of a sudden from behind you, here comes the fucking Roomba <laughs> screaming the N word. <laughs> I'm like, what do you do with that? I guess my question is. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I just scrolled down to the picture of the victim. That's uh. Yeah. That's the opening credits of a sitcom, right there. It is. It is. Yeah. What? It, like what? But I guess my question is: if you have the ability to hack stuff, yeah. why this? Because it's funny. It's fun. Like. <laughs> Of all the things, you're like, you know what I'm gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna, you're gonna hack into NORAD? You're gonna like oh. delete everybody's debt? Nah. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make Roombas yell racial slurs at people. Okay. It's just I mean, that's so also that's also a choice. I mean, it's terrible, but it's so absurd. It's so fucking absurd. <laughs> I just, of, of all like, the things doing that something happen. like this takes time and effort right and like how do you pick your like do you are you picking targets at random like i quite I, often i quite often say we live in a dystopia authored by douglas adams and this is yeah. one of those moments that feels like it this definitely the the idea of a robot vacuum that's that screamed ethnically questionable statements Sounds like a Douglas Adams thing to me. <laughs> I mean, he was so close with the orcas. He totally was. Because he was like, dolphins are just going to abandon Earth because y'all are fucked. And the orcas are just in an uprising. Yeah, it's just fucking. Ah, uh, this miss. Yeah, it's, what's yeah, even this, worse? I is... love the picture, though. Yeah, he's like, hey. Um, what's even worse is that a couple of cybersecurity researchers last year pointed out this flaw that they, they made this apparent. They reported it that they told everybody the pin code is only checked by the app, not the server or the robot. See, normally with, with, with the pin code. It just checked that if you were able to type it in on your app, it's like, okay, you're authorized to be here. The robot didn't have any sort of authorization encryption. The server didn't have any authorization encryption. Just the phone app. That's how they oh. were able to get in. Uh, they had warned. Oh, hey, somebody got what the candle smells like. What? 
Creamy butter mint. What the fuck is that? Sweet musk. That's kind of an oxymoron. Those are opposites. Cozy vanilla. So still, I have no idea. I have no idea either. Sweet just, musk makes no sense to me. No, it doesn't. That's ugh. So I just, I, I just, I picturing it in my head. I'm fucking dying. The idea. It is scary though, because it has a the thing has a live camera built in. Why? What? They have cameras the, on them. The the yeah, it's got a camera. It should be able Why? to make do with with radio uh, mapping and bumping into things. But no, they added a camera, so Why? they could be people were looking at you and screaming the n word at you through your fucking room. <laughs> But why does it need a camera? Because stupid, Tara. Because this is a very, very, everything is very stupid right now. I love it, though. This is just. I mean, me if you're going to cause mayhem, this is this is largely, I mean, maybe not so much the racial slurs. It's but still this is mostly as harmless shit. mayhem. This it's is mostly creepy. harmless mayhem. It's still creepy, though. But Mostly harmless. This is also why I don't <laughs> have a lot of smart stuff in my home. Yeah. Like, I have a little countertop ice machine, and it just broke, unfortunately. But what I mean by that is it just stopped making ice, not like it started yelling at me. <laughs> yeah, that's another one. Living Corp says, why do they have a speaker? Presumably, th this th too. presumably... Presumably, it's so that you can have audio feedback when you try to connect it to your network, or it can tell you if it needs maintenance or the bag needs to be emptied or something. Presumably. But if there's a phone app. Yeah, I know. Like my litter boxes yeah, just tell me on the phone app. Yeah, I know. Well, that was probably because it would scare the cats. In yeah, the they don't box. want to be like halfway through pooping and have it be like boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. No, that that was the. They don't need that in their lives. Oh, all right, we got <laughs> wrong place, wrong time, buddy. That's the next one here for this one. Um, this is Oceanside. Where exactly is this? San Diego. Yeah, I guess we'll just go. Yeah, wrong wrong place, wrong time. Man on plane that landed on SR-76 charged with drug position, possession, intent to distribute. A man who allegedly uh, was aboard a small plane that made an emergency landing in Oceanside has been charged with possession of cocaine with intent to distribute. Troy Othniel Smith, 36. Othniel? That's an interesting middle name. Othniel? I, I don't get it. Okay. Of Oceanside is accused of trying to hide a drug package from police shortly after the plane in which he was riding landed on State Route 76 in the early morning hours of September 26th. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office, the plane took off from San Diego, uh, flew to Mesa, Arizona, was heading back towards California the next day, mechanical issues for the emergency landing sometime after Smith and the pilot departed the plane and spoke with responding police officers. Smith allegedly unzipped a backpack he was wearing, drawing the attention of an officer. So probably they weren't going to search you over this. Probably. But then you had to get paranoid and be like, be casual, be casual, be fucking casual. <clears throat> he then, authority said, tossed a package into the bushes near a guardrail on the highway. You think they Don't saw that? Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be <laughs> suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> the contents of the package test positive for cocaine. 
Um, Smith was already the target of an investigation by the DEA and the U.S. Postal Service for allegedly shipping drugs in the mail from Oceanside to various U.S. locations. The man was arrested in connection with the incident. Police have not filed, prosecutors have not filed charges against him. Man! Oh, well, just fucking hell! Of all the bad luck. Can we also talk about if you were like on the highway and suddenly a plane lands? Oh, yeah. Like, I live in fear of that. My driver's test did not cover that shit. No, fuck no. I'm like, I'm like do you signal? Do you pull over with the emergency lights? Do they have the right of way? How the fuck does that work? Like, it's a fucking I, airplane. I, I worry about that. I probably don't need to. Now that I've said that out loud, it'll happen tomorrow. Yeah. But I worry about that, right? And it looks like it, a very small plane. It is, yeah. It's like a Cessna kind of, you know. It's it's not like a jumbo jet. It's like, you know, little two-seater. It'll fuck up your car. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just it It doesn't have blinkers, I don't think, so you're not gonna know where it's going. <laughs> So not only and it's full of drugs. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You were this close, this close from walking away from that shit. Had you not fucked with your backpack, they probably would have been like, is everybody OK? Do you need to go? Do you need to go to see the. the OK, we're going to have to like tow this. We have to write you a citation, blah, blah. You would have been fine. But then you had to be like. Okay, I'm going to very subtly get rid of this brick of cocaine. No, yeah, I'm fine. I don't have any drugs. <laughs> Sir, what was what was that? We we asked if you're hurt. Yeah, I don't have any drugs. <laughs> Sir, do you have any drugs? No. <laughs> Like you, you were this close to just being scot free, but <clears throat> nope. I mean, if there were already investigations, probably once he showed his ID, but they Maybe. but they don't have you on Maybe. anything at the moment. Right, right. If they're investigating you, that does not that means they don't have an active warrant right. Like they're, if there's you. not an open warrant, they're probably going to be like, you're probably up to something. But mm. yeah, you could have skated, but now. We call that corroboration. Mm hmm. All right. The last one this week. Every once in a while, we just have one of those stories that's just like. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and this is one of those. This is from Missouri. Um, let's bring this over here. I, I don't know what the hell happened here. Maybe you y'all will. You probably won't. Missouri police find suspected bike thief naked in possession of chainsaw. Say what? But not the bike. Here's here's the mugshot right there. That that just that tells you the kind of night he's had right there. Yeah, that's 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 the uh, yeah. He was in an attached garage, apparently high on drugs and the people were at home. Doesn't get more dangerous than that. A Missouri, a Missouri career criminal scheduled to appear in court over a year after he was arrested naked and in possession of a reportedly stolen chainsaw. Lloyd E. Tamber III, scheduled to appear before a jury, uh, faced charges of first and second degree burglary. On August 9th last year, the Lacide County Sheriff's Office received reports of a burglary where Tamber allegedly entered through a garage, stole clothes and a bicycle, among other personal items. Victim reportedly encountered Tabor and phone 911, at which point Tabor allegedly rode away on the victim's bike. Hours later, witnesses allegedly saw Tabor exit the woods covered in a brown drop cloth, matching the description of one of the stolen, the one stolen earlier incident. The witness reportedly saw Tabor take a chainsaw as he walked between homes and into a shed where police found him naked and placed him under arrest. What? But 
You already stole clothes. What? What? It's. Did this happen what backwards happened to the clothes that you stole? <laughs> did did this happen like we we from backwards dimension? Is that how is that how that worked? Because it sounds like you know. Yeah, you went through this the wrong way. You stole clothes and a drop cloth, and somehow misplaced it all, and the bike. And, and I don't. I don't. I, I don't know why I have to say this more than once in a single lifetime, but we have had to say this before. Chainsaw and naked don't go together very well. Mm -mm. Like, I am already nervous around chainsaws. I'm just going to admit that. Those things make me fucking nervous. It is a naked moving blade. A naked blade by itself already commands my respect. But a naked moving it's, blade, it can cut you by itself. That mm -hmm. concerns me. The idea of waving one around with, you know, my personal business aired out. Um, no, thank you. Thank you, no. Because I actually just the was, idea. I was in an ER waiting room once with somebody who lost a fight with a chainsaw. And he was lucky and it was not pretty. And they took me first, which I argued with them about because I had just cut my finger on an exacto blade. Like I just needed a butterfly. So I was like, are you sure you don't want to take that guy first? And they were like, no, no, you're fine. Come on back. You got here first. And I'm like, I feel like that doesn't matter who got just here first. The, just the idea of getting like maybe my scrote caught in the chain. That, like all, everybody who's watching this just winced in a very special way. I know. I, I just, it, Tabor had a minimum of 19 felony convictions dating back to 1990, including several And they just keep letting him out, huh? He has been to prison nine times. It's, the fuck man at some point don't you have to look in the mirror and go what the fuck am i doing and i just want to point out that he is lloyd e tabor the third yeah which means he is part of a legacy yeah there was there was a when you name when you name your kid after yourself that many times hmm. you know you, you don't expect them to get in the news for things like this just the how what in the hell yeah, none really, of this makes any here? sense why the bicycle like why he, the tarp why the chainsaw what happened to the stolen clothes why were you suddenly naked again yeah did they not was fit? it because of the chainsaw Did you also lose a fight with the chainsaw? Maybe he's allergic to polyester. That would be a tough way to live in this society. Just, geez, I, 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 what? I don't understand. I, yeah, I, have no, I don't, I don't. No one got any sort of order of operation here i don't get it i don't get it just so well and like the when you hear the term career criminal mm -hmm. it conjures in your brain images of bank heists yeah you know like career like criminal shit. carries with it a certain prestige right. of crime right right not like i get fucked up and steal random shit that i immediately lose right it's like, if you've been to jail nine times, maybe this is not the career path for you. Maybe so career criminal is not your career. It doesn't seem like you're very good at it. I think it's the first thing we learned this week. Yeah. Also, don't don't get a chainsaw near your scrote. That's 
Yeah, I don't know why we have to keep saying this, but... I mean, really near any of your body. It's going to hurt no matter where. And I feel like at that point, at the point where it's chainsaw, I'm not sure there's a difference in the level of pain. For being honest. Yeah. <clears throat> We've learned that um, if you are lucky enough to almost walk away from the cops... Don't freak and try to chuck the evidence. They're going to see that. Don't help them. We've learned that here in the 21st century, sometimes your Roomba will have a questionable conversation with you. Sometimes you're going to have to cancel your vacuum. <laughs> Oh my God. What a stupid future. What is Like when you were a kid, stupid, is this the future stupid. you pictured? No. Watching the Jetsons. Is this how you thought it would be? No, I thought the maid robot would be screaming we, racial slurs. Thought we'd have Transformers. It is the year 2005. I thought it'd be all that shit. No, no, nothing like that. We have learned you must have some 14 year old on your staff or you are going to do very stupid things learn from this i don't feel like they needed the 14 year old for that one honestly i feel like they Better just needed anybody sorry. with a pulse and a set of eyes <laughs> but apparently i'm wrong uh, we have learned that um if you are a county sheriff and you have a problem with a fast food place just handle it yourself like a grown up don't call in the goon squad what's wrong with you and finally this week if we learned if you're going to do crime in a costume you better make it a badass costume make it a cool costume because otherwise, forevermore, you're going to be known as the goddamn banana. Yeah. And you're not going to get a gritty reboot, right? Okay? Because mm -mm. it's just, it's, it's not going to work out for you. As much as I hated Banana Man, mm. I kind of am finding myself fascinated to know what like Zack Snyder would do with Banana Man as a movie. Like, I don't, I, I don't like Zack Snyder movies, but I would see that shit. A lot of slow motion and objectification. So you'd probably see a banana in a very, very, very uncomfortable place. <laughs>